in the people of india on the increasing violence in kerala particularly against political opponents you are aware that the cpm led government in uh, kerala has completed 100 days they have absolutely nothing to show in terms of good governance or development or activities which will benefit the people nothing whatsoever but one thing which has steadily increased after this government has come to power under the chief ministership of pinarayi vijayan ji is the violence which is reflective of what has been happening or what has always happened in a cpm led government beat in west bengal or earlier in kerala today our state president kumanam rajeshekaran ji has held a press conference in tiruvananthapuram and the context in which we have taken this uh, issue up is of course the violence continues but last night between 11:45 and 12 i am told a helmet wearing motorbike riding person threw something at the office the tiruvananthapuram office which is in a rented building the bjp office in tiruvananthapuram which exploded and with the sense of worry i need to say here that just probably half an hour one hour before this attack till then the president was in that office president kumanam rajshekaran was in that office and then left from there to kurikod he had come back today to hold the press conference but the attack therefore we suspect that this attack was an attack on the president himself and this is not one now odd attack all of you are aware in kerala kannur district has been completely hit by violent politics of the cpm if i am not wrong both the chief minister and the general secretary of cpm kodiyeri balakrishnan come from that district and in that district where the chief minister belongs to and also where the secretary balakrishnan also comes from violence has been actively perpetrated by the cpm and you know both the bjp and the rss workers have been targeted unendingly only two days ago a bjp worker vinish if i remember the name correct was hacked to death even as he was going on a motorbike stopped and hacked to death and you you would tell ask me because i drew this example of cpm led west bengal government anyone from bengal at that time and earlier of the cpm rule in kerala would say how cpm workers would act as though they are running the police station cpm workers would be the ones who would say either the fir is filed or not in any legitimate case when a complainant goes to the police station it would be they would decide that's what happened in west bengal under their rule that's what is happening in kerala today too no case where a bjp person goes or a rss person goes or anybody else goes who do not have expressed sympathy with cpm the cases are taken up no case is filed when it is not accompanied by a cpm member saying yes please follow it up no cases are taken up so even if there are blatant lawlessness violence or murder cases are never taken up if it is non cpm backed case 
Whereas when there is violence, which the CPM goes to report, immediately 30, 40 people are rounded up, arrested, kept inside, harassed. Action happens only on the basis of political affiliation. To the extent that Kodiyeri Balakrishnan apparently has said that he will ask the CPM workers to go into temples to see if there are shakas being held. Workers will try to, CPM workers will try to see if shakas are being held in temples, we will stop them. The aggression with which political opponents are being dealt with, the extent of violence which is being perpetrated with political support and unfortunately today that political party which gives such kind of a support is sitting in power. They are the uh, people who are running Kerala. And again, one other example. One of the reserved constituencies in the Thiruvananthapuram Corporation, Valiasala, I think, which is a reserved constituency, a corporator, a lady corporator, who is a BJP corporator, lady reserved constituency corporator who is elected, her office was attacked in the night. Stones were thrown at her office. Luckily, she was not there, but houses in the neighborhood were all affected because of that. And it is important for us to know that we BJP with Mr. Kumanam Rajasekhar and also accompanying the team and many others went and met the President of India to say about this violence. If you remember, correct, all of you all were there when we came out of the Rashtrapati Bhavan. We had voiced our concern to the President. And this continuing violence after the CPM has come to power, after us meeting with the Rashtrapati too, is shocking. You take it to the notice of the President of India. And even after that, the CPM does not hesitate to continue with its spree of violence. Violence politics is what? the people of Bengal threw them out for. No, we do not learn. And this is not just in Kannur, Kotayam, Ernakulam, all of them are seeing the same spate of violence. It is no longer Kannur means CPM, CPM means violence. It is CPM today, any part of Kerala, the same kind of Kannur formula is being followed. The president has spoken against it, the president of the party in Kerala has spoken against this. He has demanded that he has expressed his concern at the increasing lawlessness. There are journalists from Kerala here. He has very clearly said Arajakatvam has increased. Arajakatvam has increased in Kerala which really stands to violent po politics has really increased in Kerala. The sequence of events prove it. BJP office in Thirmanandapuram, uh, corporators or elected constituency, her office getting hit. So, all this is a matter of concern. We find police stations are no longer being uh, run by policemen who are recruited to do the job. The CPM cadres are sitting there to direct what case has to be taken up and what should not be. These are matters of serious concern. False allegations and charges are being levelled against BJP workers. Mr. Kumanam has also spoken about this in Kerala today. The BJP voices its concern, highlights the politics of violence which the government of Kerala is looking the other way or probably indirectly is uh, encouraging it through its cadres, doesn't augur well for the Kerala public. Compare kisse karte hai Mahatma Gandhi se, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru se, Atal Vihari Bajpai se, himmat dekhiye. Aisa lagta hai, maano, kaun sa kila fatah karke, 
मंत्री साहब आए हैं और कौन से चार चांद उनके नाम पे लग गया है कि उनके नाम के साथ महात्मा गांधी पंडित नेहरू और अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी जैसे नेताओं के नाम को जोड़ने की कोशिश की जा रही है